So, what? Oh, oh, no. Quick question. <laughs> excited looks pretty. I'm yeah. excited. What are you looking forward to most? I don't know. I've just never. I've, I've only ever seen the outside of it. Yes. So getting oh, inside is going to be interesting. It's thirty years since I've been there. Thirty years. <laughs> what were you doing there last time, I'm Dennis? Campaigning for the. For the union. union more or less. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Bridge aluminium. They're closing it down. Ah, fantastic. 30 years, 30 30 years. years ago. Mm. And so, Debbie, have you got any kind of questions in your mind before we go? Just just e eager to see it? Just eager to see it, yes. Just, yeah, but first occasion, so it'll yeah. be interesting. To see where all these decisions get made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> to see, actually, just be interesting to feel what... Um, See what it feels like inside. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, the atmosphere. The atmosphere. Because uh -huh. when we were watching the Russell Brand interview, he was talking about it's just like an Oxford college. It's just mm -hmm. one of those environments. Yeah. Very interesting. So we'll see. Will we see anybody famous? <laughs> I want a selfie. <laughs> Are you looking forward to your day? Oh, oh yes. I have been a long, long time ago. Yeah, very interesting. I usually go in at the oldest part of the building, which is a hall which they still use for festivities. But uh, it's lovely to go around again. I appreciate the opportunity. I think I went last when I was at primary school. Well, it's all very exciting, isn't it? Uh, I was just thinking. I, I did go. To, I did this trip about 25 years ago with a group of older people from East Oxford Community Centre. And uh, it was really, really interesting, and, and I'm, I'm sort of very excited by it all. Looking out for some famous faces, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Tell me what you're looking forward to. Looking at history. Okay. And uh, how did Parliament evolved. I know quite a bit about it already, but yeah. I need to find some more. Okay. Can you? fascinates me, the Big Bear, the Parliament House, so I, I like the architecture, I'd like to look forward to take photos. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Today and seeing how uh, Parliament functions, it should be a really good experience for me. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the seat of uh, British democracy. <laughs> um, I went to the Houses of Parliament um, when I was at school, when I was about uh, 16 or 17, I think. I remember really enjoying that. And I'm quite um, passionate and interested in, in democracy and politics and, and things like that. So, um, and I'd been present at one of the Why Vote workshops, and it just seemed like a really good opportunity to come and meet some other people who've been on those workshops and to, to find out how they found them and, and why, um, how, how they found, found the courses and if they did. Uh, answer their questions about why it's important to vote um, and to obviously come and see Westminster.
communities got together and came to London. Um, we've got quite a diverse mix of people. It really went smoothly. People really enjoyed the tour um, and um, lunch at the Methodist Central Hall. Um, and we've got sort of good ideas of where to go forward with the um, talk shops and active citizenship um, and more partnership work interesting to go today, having done all the why vote sessions in Oxford, but to actually go to the place where power is held and decisions are made. So I think it was a very, very enjoyable experience for us all. <laughs> in the background, do it again. <laughs> that is just typical. <laughs> it's really typical. Oh, shall I say that again? No, it's not. I think, you know, it made me think a lot about how um, when we're doing the sessions and talking about the importance of voting and getting people to register vote, there's something very powerful about actually coming along and going to the House of Commons and looking around, um, seeing the history of the suffragettes, some of the, the little things we learned today. So it's a very good day. I enjoyed it today. Um, I've always wanted um, to be part, I've always felt it's so good to be part of the political process for everybody to feel that um, they're not uh, excluded. So it was really nice to see where all the policies are made and where the laws are made. It really, really kind of resonated with my my kind of uh, you know feeling about uh, wanting to be part of the political process here. Well, it was great. It was really enjoyable. Um, I spotted three people that I recognised, Shirley Williams, Norman Fowler and Caroline Lucas. And then after that, I, uh, I went for a walk over Westminster Bridge and down to Downing Street and peered in, but I didn't peered see David. I, I peered in, <laughs> uh, but didn't see David. Right. Uh, More likely to see him in Oxford, actually. Oh, well, that's true, probably, yes, or Whitney or whatever. Yes. But, uh, yeah, very enjoyable. Good. And we had a good time. And he, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've been living more than 30 years in Oxford, but I never had a chance, you know. Yeah. Uh, this Today I had a chance and I, I visited Parliament House and we enjoyed it, you know. An awful day out. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time, a really good time. Yeah. Saw one, one scene, got the photographs I wanted to see. I'm a happy man. Good. good day out. Very good. First class. So we had a lovely trip today um, and it was great to spend some time with some like-minded people uh, going around the famous Westminster Palace um, and uh, one of the standout memories for me was standing amongst the benches in the House of, Lord, House of Lords um, but the whole thing was very inspiring and showed us how far we've come um, but the, in my opinion, there's still a little bit, bit of work to do to really champion democracy.